Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Shout out to my gang, Rice Gang. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP. Shout out to Fox 5. Shout out to everybody that I'm affiliated, associated with, and the people that love what we do here. But I got to get this thing. So first of all, I want to say this. Tonight, 6 p.m., I will be talking with my dog, Jay Tuck, a uh, huge Cowboys fan. He's got a Cowboys channel and shit, you know what I'm saying? All things Cowboys. Or he, he, that's my dog, you know what I'm saying? And he's got a, a stream that he wants to do tonight with me, you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about our matchup, about football. A lot of people be wanting me to talk sports, but I do it with my dog, Jay Tuck, Cowboys fans only. Listen, Twitter won't save these niggas tonight. Twitter will not save them. Instagram, Twitter, call whoever you want, it ain't gonna save you. And I know y'all so used to what happened the last couple years and woody woody woo. I see y'all Sunday and I'm gonna see you 6 p.m. Frozenberg Raw, let's get to it. Rosenberg Raw, Mike P, Nostalgia, The Trenches is going down this Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Gutter City and The Trenches, you know what I mean? They got tickets available, pay-per-view available also. The card has a couple cats I never heard of, I'm going, I ain't gonna hold you. They must be some of the new cats that came through Easy's process. What does it say? Lee I N D. Nigga, I don't know that. And Muwap, I know Muwap as a nigga in Chicago that ran with Dirk and them that killed FBG Duck. If that's not the wrong move, I don't know. I'm gonna say what it is. Kaboom vs. Gwitty, K Walker vs. Show Off, Rosenberg Raw vs. Mike P, Reed Dollars vs. Um P, Hollow Man vs. Head Ice. Um, I definitely will cop it. Uh, you know, Philly versus New York. I'm a New York nigga. SP's a Philly guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know how that worked. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's involved with it. But it is what it is. When you run Philly versus New York again, holler. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But let's check out this card. You got Rosenberg Raw versus Mike P. Um, this is probably a pretty... This is going to be a dope battle. I can tell you that right now. I was, just, I was out with Rosenberg Raw. All weekend in Atlanta, we was doing the Rare Breed joint. Shout out to everybody that watched that. Max Out 3, you know how that goes. I ain't got to go there. You know what You know what kind of movie we made. Um, nostalgia's going down Philly versus New York. They're trying to bring back that old authentic feeling with the Hollow Man. Hollow Man put on for uh, Philly for years. Had Ice, we know Ice. I just saw Ice doing his thing. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple little things that do concern me. Show Off just battled last week. Had Ice just battled last week too. So, you know, I, I'm hoping, I'm copping. I'm gonna tell you right now, I am copping. SP is working, he gotta work that day. And everything I do, I do with my brother. So if he working, I'm working at the crib. So I will cop and watch it. And you should too, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is battle rap, right? So, um, Oom P, you know what I'm saying? Like, I seen him on the MC War joint. He wasn't really like that crazy, you know what I'm saying? And Reed Dollars, he battled easy, but he got cooked a little bit. I feel like he kinda got around, maybe. Uh, around. He didn't win the battle. But then you take that general and crash it. You know what I'm saying? You, you know the shit that Easy said. You know what I'm saying? You know the shit. Take that general and crash it. You know what I'm saying? No. Can't mess up the weights. You know, I've been in the gym recently. You know what I'm saying? People be asking me and shit. The more cameras we be in front of, the more things we got going on. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. It's a lifestyle, too. So uh, take that general, crash it. Rosenberg Raw, let's get to you. You and Mike P. I seen the comments that you made on social to the media. You said. Uh, let me pull it up here. He said on um, Frozenberg TV. Oh, Frozenberg. Make sure y'all subscribe to Frozenberg TV. He's doing his thing in the media. He's doing the blogs. He just did the commentary. Now he got the battles. Then he got Shane Ashley coming up. I mean, this man is doing his motherfucking thing. But let's get to this. Mike P tries to convince us that he's top shelf, top tier battle rapper. He says, I get away with so much because I'm so simplistic, but I've figured out my strength and do it well. You are still trying to figure out. Newsflash. When you are top tier, you don't have to say it. The fans feel it. I feel like I get this notion that you are giving me a shot. That would be sadly mistaken. I'm fucking dangerous, Mike. All right, so there's so much to break down. Every now, every that I've sketched about, right? 
Mike P is a, is a dope MC, you know what I'm saying? He's been doing it for a while. I remember Mike P when he was just coming through the Proving Grounds, the Butterfly through the Cocoon. No, I remember when the motherfucker, you get two fists like a pool stick. I do get pressed up on the wall like a pool. You niggas remember. Come on, y'all niggas, y'all just got here? Did you just get here? I'm sorry if you just got here. I'm Butterfly. I am kind of top tier. Welcome in. Take a goddamn seat. Mike P been killing shit for years. He been nice, you know what I'm saying? Like he bad. The Daylight Battle was a classic, and he's got some other joints. Him and URL didn't really see eye to eye. What the hell was that shit about? Oh, he wanted to be getting the looks. I think he wanted some looks, and them niggas was like, Nah, you here? You know what I'm saying? Like he wanted the looks. He never even battled Rock. That's kind of crazy. Uh, there's a lot of people that he didn't battle. You know what I'm saying? But Mike P wanted them names and he wanted them looks, and they wasn't giving them to him. You know what I'm saying? They kind of was like, You think you here? But you kind of like right here, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you might think you here, but you, you here. I think he's like somewhere in between, you know what I'm saying? Because I think we feel on the mic, be having some shit sometimes, like that verse, verse Danny Myers, the pa the parallel signs. You was supposed to be laying your butt, your wife, up. You niggas remember that shit. Stop acting like we don't remember this. Uh, Rosenberg Raw, as of late, Rosenberg Raw has been cooking. Like, if I got a, a competitive advantage going into the, it's for me, it may be recency bias, but I definitely have been at like two or three Rosenberg Bar battles in the last year. I was there versus Bill Collector. I was there versus Jag. I just did commentary with him and he had the Charlie Clips battle. Maybe I remember too much or I seen too much recently. He's been picking his shit up all year long. He's been doing that. He had a great battle versus Clips. I feel like he got the first and second Clips got the third. I had Frozen winning that 2-1. I had Frozen Jag being very debatable. Very, very good battle. I could call it 2-1 either way. I love when I come to play in the battle go 2-1 either way because that means both put the work in, right? Um, Mike P, I know Mike P had, uh, who the fuck did he have? He had, uh, you had Sharon. Yeah, that was the one, right? He had Sharon and he had the good performance and he had the round of, I got one, two nines. Uh, I moved through states and you'll get 2-8. I was, it was 1-2-1 one, one, and I was in the zone. And you went all the way down through the whole motherfucking round. I know, right? That shit was dope. I'm not gonna hold you, Mike. That shit was dope, right? But I think you thought that it was supposed to have more of an impact that it did, but it was a light work battle. Did you not know, Mike? Did you not fucking know? Mike, 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 come on, Mike, Mike! Boy, did you no not know way, that boy. he didn't give boy, a fuck no way, about boy. no goddamn light work? Huh? Boy, ain't no way, huh? Boy. You know what light work was? Light work was light work, my nigga. I can't bag that up. I can't. What am I gonna do with that shit? What am I gonna do with light work? I couldn't do nothing with that. So yeah, I think you put more stock into that win versus Sharon than you probably should have. You know what I'm saying? And they wasn't putting you on big cards and they wasn't giving you no really big names. So I understand why you was like, yo, I'm out the whip. You got up out of there. But now you're facing Rosenberg Raw and you're facing them in Philadelphia, right? Now, Philadelphia is a very, I, I worked in Philadelphia for two years. Philadelphia, and you're from New York. It's a, bit, it's a rivalry from sports, basketball, baseball. Everything is a rivalry in Philly. They hate us, right? But it's cool. It's a lot of love there. I, I, I never... Nobody never took nothing from me in Philadelphia but advice or pictures. So Philadelphia is a lot of love, but um, they are definitely a home team state. Mike, you go in here and lose, it's going to mean a lot. You know why it's going to mean a lot? Because you're going to have all of the people with voices in front of their cameras saying Mike P left URL to go get smoked on the trenches. I know you don't want that. I know you do. Hmm? Hmm? Tell it right, tell it right, huh? Does Vada have to sell? Do I have to sell this fight? Hey, hey, Ray, Ray, come, come, come over here, man. Huh? Do I have to sell this fucking fight? Because, I mean, I, I see a couple tweets and shit going back and forth, but I ain't seeing them in the, you know what I'm saying, going back and forth with each other. I mean, hopefully they do a face-off. Hopefully they get on a stream yard. Hopefully they have a conversation, but I need a little bit more sauce to be the boss. You know what I'm saying? I need that. I like to know that, yo. This is going to be kind of crazy. But, um, you know, as far as Frozen Barrier is concerned, are any of these two top tier, if I was asked the question? I would probably say Froze is a top tier or closer to one than Mike at this point. And Mike, Mike is a great MC, please. And I want you to listen. I'm from New York, too, man. I'm from the Bronx. 233 White Plains. When niggas sell coke and they die off the dice games. I've been there. So, why I'm saying this is 
I've seen Rosenberg Raw booked on really, really high rare breed cards. You know what I'm saying? He battled Charlie Clips. He battled Ill Will. He battled T-Rex. Like, he's done the big names on those stages. He has done them, right? Mike, he's had some battles, but I did not... If if I see Rose... Like, if Rosenberg Raw wasn't battling Mike P, he probably would have been on Max Out. If Mike P didn't have a falling out with URL... He probably wouldn't have been on Summer Madness. That's what I'm saying. They would have used him for their biggest card. URL would not have used Mike P for that. That's the simplest answer right there. They wasn't going to use him for Summer Madness because they wasn't using that nigga before. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. I, I, if I, I'm trying, I'm befuddled at how nobody thinks of this type of stuff. Am I the only one? Wait, am I the only one? Is it me? Oh, okay, it must be me. I'm the Oracle. And when I leave the room, my aura cool. Like, you got to understand how these things are being done. Mike P was with URL for 7 years? 7 years? I was counting from like 2016 to 23. 7 years, my dog? They wasn't putting him in he hadn't even battled Rod. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's something wrong with that cuz I felt like he should have. But this is what I'm saying. In their battle, how am I calling it? I got a 2-1 froze right now. Um, the reason why I got and I'm going to explain why I got a 2-1 froze. I got a 2-1 froze. Number one, it's in Philly. Number two, froze is coming off of a couple of dope-ass battles this year. That battle versus Jag was fucking crazy. Say, Blue, what kind of car you drive? The one with two fully loaded weapons. Safety off inside. Like, I, I, I was standing right there when that happened. So we can call it the recency bias, but me standing there and hearing it and seeing the reaction, oh shit, this nigga cooking, woohoo! I gotta take that into consideration. If Mike P is gonna beat him, he's gonna go there in Philly, show me he can do it. I will see it, I will recap it, and I will show um, some love. Shout out to Easy the Black Captain. Uh, you know, Gutter City presents uh, the nostalgia card. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in seeing a couple people. I want to see what Reed Dollars is going to do. Uh, K Walker's dope. Show off just battled last week. I hope that, you know what I'm saying, he's going to be able to spin the block. Uh, if you want me to call it, uh, I got New York 5 1, respectfully. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do 5 1. I do 5 1, man. Because, you know, I said Rosenberg, we're all going to kind of get like a little sneaky 2 1 on Mike P. But uh, I got head ice. I'm going with OP. I'm going with show off. I, I fuck with K-Walk. K-Walk is nice, but I'm from New York. Fuck it, bias. Bias, nigga. That's why I should have been there, because I would have been like, fuck it, bias, nigga. Give me 6-0. Rest in peace to Nipsey. Fuck it. That's what I would. That's my energy. But nah, um, I go, respectfully, I go 5-1, man. I'm going to go 5-1. And I like it like that. And if Philly don't like, if Philly don't like that, you know what the fuck.